Hello and welcome to the Adobe Photoshop Podcast with your host Terry White. What I'd like to do is walk you through the brand new Photoshop Express for Android. Now I've got my Android device here and as you can see I've got the camera app that's native to the device and of course we'd use that to take our photos. However, once I've got those photos in the device, which I do, I have the option of going into Photoshop Express, which is a free application. Now before we actually get in and start editing some of the photos here, I wanted to point out one of the cool features of Photoshop Express, and that is if I uh, tap the settings here and we go to more, and we go to the settings for Photoshop Express, one of the options I do have is the ability to turn on and auto upload. What that will do is automatically, every time I use the built-in camera and take a picture, it will automatically upload it to my free account on Photoshop.com. So if you're kind of one of those out in the field or out at a party and you want people to see the pictures as soon as you take them, you can have them upload in the background automatically as you take them. However, I'm going to leave that option off for now. We're going to go back and walk you through some of the features of Photoshop Express. Now, you notice at the top, it's showing me phone and online. Phone means showing me the, the pictures that I've taken on the actual Android device itself. And I'm going to go ahead and tap online, and that will take me to my online account at Photoshop.com. So I've got the photos here that I've taken in the past with different devices and my different albums. And I can, of course, uh, just tap on one and view those photos even if they weren't taken with this device. So that's pretty cool that I can show people photos that maybe I've taken with a better camera or my DSLR and without having to actually have those photos loaded on my Android or on my phone at all times. So that's the beauty of the sharing feature. And, of course... Um, once you're in a particular photo, you can actually have the option of emailing that photo to someone, even though that photo is not actually on the device itself. So, pretty cool. Let's go back. And let's go back to the ones that are on the phone. Because I think what's going to really happen is you're going to want to be taking pictures with your device and then editing and sharing them right on the device. And that's what Photoshop Express is really all about. It's the power of Photoshop in a mobile form factor. So it's not all the tools and filters and features of Photoshop, but it's the most common ones that people will use. So let's go ahead and tap edit, and that will allow me to select one or more photos, and when I say one or more, I can do them in sequence. So if I needed to adjust more than one photo, I can keep going, and it will allow me to do that. So I think I want to adjust this one. Actually, that's not the one I want. Let's go back and edit one more time. I think I want that one. That's the one I want. Okay, so we got this photo loaded in the editor. Editor, That's a portrait photo, obviously. And what I'd like to do first is crop it. I kind of don't want some of the stuff at the bottom showing there. So I'll just tap my crop, bring up my crop rectangle, and I can, of course, move the crop around, which is what you would expect, but I can also, of course, adjust the crop using my finger. So I can crop out the portions of the photo that I don't want to show. Now, I'll crop it, but I'm going to go back to crop to show you one more thing, and that is you also have this little lock icon which allows you to choose your crop aspect. So right now it's going to crop it just any way that I drag it, but if I want to crop it, for example, to a one-to-one -one perfect square, I can just choose the one-to-one, -one, and now when I crop it, it will be a perfect square. And of course, I've cropped it twice now. I didn't really want to do that, so we'll just undo it because we have multiple undos in this app and redos as well. Now let's go ahead and move over to uh, Exposure, Saturation, Tint, Black and White, Contrast, and Brightness. So I'm going to go ahead and do Exposure. I think this image is just a little bit overexposed for my taste. And you notice we're starting at zero. And if I drag to the left, that will give me less exposure. To the right will be more exposure. So I can darken it up just a bit just by dragging my finger to the left from the center of the image. And I can go ahead and lock that in. I also have the ability to adjust the saturation, so I can make the image uh, less saturated or more saturated just by dragging my finger left and right. 
So we'll go ahead and lock that in. You get the idea. You just use your finger to make these adjustments. Now we also have a soft focus, um, which I'm not going to do on this image, but that's kind of cool to be able to do that as well. Let's go over to effects and borders. We're going to go ahead and choose an effect. I like the vibrant effect, but let me show you some of the other ones here. We have this pop effect, which kind of divides it in four and gives you like a popular effect. Uh, vignette blur is kind of cool. We have warm vintage, rainbow, white glow, and soft black and white. But I'm going to go back over to vibrant. I really like vibrant in this particular case because it's just going to make those colors punch or pop even more. So let's go ahead and uh, select that. Now, uh, last but not least, we'll put a border on it. And I have a variety of different borders. One of my favorite is actually the, I like the soft edge border. So we'll choose that. And now, of course, I have the option of saving that photo. So now it's saving it back to the phone. And at this point, I can now choose that photo that I just adjusted, and I can upload it to one of my favorite services. So if we go to upload, I can upload it to Photoshop.com, Facebook, or TwitPic. So if I choose Photoshop.com, for example, I can choose multiple photos if I want. And if I hit continue, that will give me the ability to add a description and even the ability to choose which um, album online that I want to put that one in. So it's already going to put it in my Android shots. And if I hit continue and upload, that one will now continue to upload in the background while I keep working in the app or even if I um, go do something else. So you get the idea. Photoshop Express for the most common things that people want to do directly inside your app on your device, whether it be Android, iPhone, or iPad. Thanks for watching. My name is Terry White.